welcome to learn instrumentation engineering youtube channel today we would be discussing on four wire loop diagram concepts so what is basically a four wire loop diagram so what are the different components that would run from field to control systems and different sections would be detailedly discussed in this video so stay tuned to this video to get a better understanding on four-way loop drawing in our youtube channel learn instrumentation engineering you would be learning basic concepts and fundamentals of instrumentation and control system engineering and latest technological updates which is happening in uh, instrumentation engineering globally we would also cover latest news on instrumentation engineering so if you are an instrumentation student or a instrumentation engineer or even an expertise in the field of instrumentation engineering do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering youtube channel so i am very sure that i create more value to your knowledge so let's get into this video so this is basically a four wire instruments so for this video i have taken a magnetic flow meter so basically magnetic flow meter comes in four wire loop configurations so what is basically two wire and four wire so basically in two wire 24 volt dc power supply and 4 to 20 milliamps would be running in just two wires so this is basically the two wire systems and in four wire we do have different power supply it might be a uh, 24 volt or 110 volt dc or 230 volt ac or whatever the record supply voltage in two wires and the remaining two wires would be carrying 4 to 20 milliamps signals so uh, this is the basic difference between two wire and four wire loop systems normally a magnetic flow meter mass flow meter so different types of flow meters comes in four wire configurations not only flow meters some different uh, unique instruments uh, would also come with four wire loop configurations so let us uh, see uh, this uh, loop diagram so normally we do have three different sections so that is this is the field and this is basically the ICS rack room in ICS rack room we have marshalling section and additionally we do have yeah power distribution panel so this is the only thing which is additional in a loop diagram of four wide systems and then we have a dcs system cabinet so these are all the basic sections or different components that would be used in a four wide loop diagram so this is basically a magnetic flow meter and I would give a tag number such a way that FT-215 this is just a random number so this magnetic flow meter has four wire systems so one is a 230 volt power supply so basically depending upon the applications we use 230 volt so I take it as an AC in somewhere they would also use 110 volt DC as well so how this power supply is coming over here so we knew that we have an ICS rack room in ICS rack room we do have a power distribution panel in our previous video we do have a separate playlist for ICS panels so we have detailed discussed on what is basically a power distribution panel what are different components of power distribution panels detailly uh, explained i would give the video link in the description so you can watch those videos as well so in the power distribution panel we do have an mcb and depending upon the uh, load of the magnetic flow meter we would be using four amps 
or six amps and so on depending upon the applications of the four wire instruments so this uh, mcb would be uh, fading 230 volt power supply to a, a tb and i would call here this as um, f is at 3 iphone tb and randomly i'm giving some number 15 16 right and this knife edge fuse again would be protecting the field instruments and the control systems for this power distribution panel so uh, that also would be uh, designed as per the applications of the 4Y systems so this power supply would be fed from power distribution panel to the TB and from the TB it gets to the field and it powers the 4Y magnetic flow meter and now this magnetic flow meter gives a 4 to 20 milliamps output so how does this gives so again it has a separate terminal in the magnetic flow meter for power supply and a separate terminal for 4 to 1 milliamps analog output so this 4 to 1 milliamps analog output would be getting into a nearby field junction box and i would name this as um, dcs a a would be referring to analog input and jb iphone 501 so just i'm giving a random number and in the field jb we would be getting more loop from different four wire uh, instruments in this example i have taken a single magnetic flow meter normally in the field junction box we'd have more than uh, single flow meters so randomly they would be getting like uh, one two three four five or even 10 magnetic flow meters that would come into a single field junction box and this would be basically single pair into 1.5 mm squared cable and from the field junction box so i would uh, name this as the 21 and 22 terminal and remaining terminals would be carrying the other magnetic flow meters analog in output so from the field junction box it get into the marshalling rack so we do have a uh, knife htb so i would call it as f is a 2 i find 6 and uh, this is the tb i uh, we would be giving a number like uh, 1 and 2 and again this would also have a fuse rating so i would consider here uh, 100 milliamps and again this fuse rating would differ depending upon the applications of the field as per the oem and this knife tb would get into an elco board so already we have discussed what is basically elco board in our previous videos so i would give the video link in the description and in the elco board we used to define the uh, input output module channels so basically uh, i'm taking this as a sixth channel 6a 6b so this is the analog input sixth channel okay and then from the elco board it gets into the system cabinet through a prefab cable so what is basically prefab cable was also discussed in our previous video so as per the analog input for example if you have a 16 channel analog input all the 16 channel would be getting into the prefab cable this would be a single cable and that would get into the dcs cabinet in dcs cabinet again we would be uh, identifying this as a node slot and a channel so already we knew that we are using in the sixth channel 6ab and the node uh, and slot would be identical over here so basically i have taken here node 2 and uh, slot 5 so i have already discussed what is basically node slot channel in our previous video uh, and i'm very sorry to tell you uh, most of the basic concepts have been discussed in our uh, different playlist i would put all the corresponding or respective videos in description so that you can easily understand those concepts from our previous video itself so from this prefab cable uh, we would be looping this uh, signal into the dc system cabinet where we would be getting the face plate indications and not only the face plate indication it can also control uh, yeah, uh, parameters through a control wall so this would be happening inside the dcs so this is how your four wire loop system works so this is how a four wire loop diagram uh, looks from magnetic flow meter in the field to the system cabinet so if this video was very useful to you just hit the like button and share to the simulation community 
and if you want to watch such instrumentation video do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering youtube channel thank you